Welcome back. I would like to see mid one get super active in this one, and that's that's kind of the only way that I see SMG winning this one. Ursa will immediately go for KP, and him and Kaz are very, very powerful in the same top lane. The Dazzle being caught. He already used the heal, has the fairy fire and some sticks, but with this silence, he'll be going down. Uses the fairy fire. He has a heal in a few seconds, but mid one will be getting the first blood in magma. They uh played that tactic against Boom, but SMG are going to be ready for it. Rogido comes in. Okay, he wants to die, and they're going to make his wish come through with multiple stuns. He won't even move an inch. He's going to try to use his spell there, but leaving the tower to fall, not an option so early on, especially when they have the Ravage. The Roji, again, is in trouble, surrounded by the same three heroes. We kind of feel like we've seen this with the Dragon Tail. Roji, he just wants to die, and his wish will be made true. Dragonite again. With a uh, breeds fire, he gets the kill. Now in Ursa, he's being jumped on, but he wants to fight still. Surrounded by three heroes, he might suffer the same fate as his, uh, as Roger did. He gets the kill before that does happen, but KP and Moon, they will finish him off. DZY comes over. He's being pretty aggressive with the hood. He's definitely not gonna die, but they're not looking towards him. They want to tower. Still KP. He will not be going in any further. Hey, they're gonna find the Dazzle, the Alpha Wolf. Is it gonna be in some trouble here? With DZY protecting his supports, I don't really see them dying so easily. The Alpha Wolf does go down. They're gonna rupture the Dive Hunter, but he's still walking in. The big sea monster, he's not afraid of his own blood. Still five heroes from SMG, they're coming in. The Echo Slam, it might kill the Ogre Magi, but no, DZY will deny it for them with the Truck Kraken being released. They'll kill KP, they lose the Dazzle, and their uh, Ogre in the process. Doraji, he wants to get out, but it's not gonna be happening. So post-mortem, this ogre will be getting the kill, and he wants Afu as well. The Sursa is hungry, and the bear might eat the Earthshaker. He wants a cow, but he won't be getting it. Um, Roger, he understands that he's not that strong in this game, so he's gonna be going for the Soul Crest. Afu yet to use that Blink Dagger, and here comes the Tide Hunter, but we don't care, he gets broken. And in uh, more ways than one, so SMG, they secured themselves a kill on the Tide. He's gonna be knowing now what he's up against. The entirety of Team Magma have to deal with a fan of knives. Now the Lycan comes over. Dirsa will slap him there in the face. The uh, Shaker will come in and the Dazzle is dead. That's a perfect hero to fight Magma now. There falling apart and Dirsa trying to run away. But mid one, he will not allow it. The only two heroes to survive. Lena Aghanim Shard, not the greatest, but not the worst either. I guess the Shaker gets that one. Yep, Afu will probably be getting the Shard. Uh, Dazzle comes to the mid lane. A Howl, he is getting afraid right now. BKB being used by Moon, but nice blink out coming out from the DK. Still, they're going for the Dazzle, but the Ravage mid one. He might have the Aegis, but the first life, it's not gonna be taken. They are gonna stun onto the Dragonite, but with all of the defensive heroes, they will be fine. Mid one, he gets himself away, and the Aegis will remain untouched. Now the stun on KP. They want the like and dead, but probably can't do it without the Ursa. They don't have the damage. He howls. We are not afraid of wolves. We have a bear on our side, and he rips him apart they gave everything to mid one he wants to take even more now himself from team magma oh the dazzle the stun doesn't connect they miss everything they're gonna use the echo as well they use all of your spells on me it's not gonna work did he break their ankles most definitely smg can you uh, really make this kind of a mistake and still win a fight mid one is gonna get stunned up he has the Aegis, but it's gonna get ripped apart here with ursa going over he does have the rupture and mid one jumps to the side they still can't get the kill the rupture will expire fairly soon but the tie hunter getting stunned up and a fan of knives where do you think you're going tzy well his grave is gonna be shallow at least for now but they're gonna dig it deep enough with a beautiful fissure and now this shaker is gonna start hitting his spells and once the stuns are there team smg will overwhelm their opponents they won't even be able able to kill the PA once and Kaz, guess what? You are next with a crit and one more hit from Moon. SMG will get four. So SMG, they finish off the Raxes and that's gonna be a very big advantage. As I said, after I saw that Aegis being taken, SMG, they look like they already won the game. Smoke. This is one of those smokes. If it doesn't work out, they might even call GG. Dust turns into a big dragon. The Howl has been used and KP trying to scare his opponents. KP not the best target, he's pretty tanky. They will do a ton of damage to him and Ursa trying to deal the damage. He will finish him up, but the buyback is gonna be used and now this DK, he's such an easy target. The Shallow Grave will assist him and the Ravage being used, but mid one, he's still 
has the say. He didn't go for a BKB. He went for the Satanic. He has the Aegis, and it's not gonna be enough. The Ursa trying to TP himself out, but they will come back in with a beautiful Fissure. Kaz is dead, and guess what? Easy Y will follow as well. Is there anyone who can survive this one? It's gonna be the Dragonite, the one that looked like he was gonna die at the start of the fight. Oh, no, no, no. Dust, he goes under. Do they have a Dust here? Yes, they do, and Actually, did they have a sentry there? Who didn't have a dust of his own? So anyways, SMG. Yeah, there's gonna be a GG. R really no, no reason to stay in this one any longer. 20 minutes in, it was all over to be honest. So I think I'm gonna be going for SMG in this one. In my mind, they have the stronger late game with the faces void. The mid lane now, Moon. Oh, she's gonna be skewered back again. Does he needs a few more attacks here to finish off the kill, the shockwave in a few seconds, and Moon could be going down. Does he might wait for the uh, for the flame guard to go down, and he'll get the kill there. As the Rolling Thunder, that's a big spell, and on the bottom lane, the Rubik is being dove. You have five more armor from the tower, and KP will get away from TZY. Roger coming over, and he's just gonna offer his life, but KP, he wants to get a return kill, will be able to do it. Now he's outrunning this Pango, but not really. Pango crushes the ground. He finds the Illusion Rune, so that might be the case. Dust will get uh, five stacks, but he doesn't take that much damage, but Moon is still going in mid one. Meanwhile, he kills the carry of Magma, and Moon wants to get this kill. He has the two. Oh, ho, ho, the dodge of the RP. The ground will be the only thing caught, and SMG are out, outplaying Team Magma, killing their carry on the other parts of the map as well. Beautifully done, and this Bloodseeker just not having the game that he would like mid one. With that, his Mask of Madness will be finished, but he doesn't have the curve. He has to get away, getting pulled back. He has a remnant and will be getting himself out of it. But the rupture will keep him in place. And Moon, he has been outplaying them until now. But he will finally fall, giving the kill to the Bloodseeker. Rupture isn't that great of a spell against the Faces Void. Oh, they will get the silence with the Rolling Thunder. DZY coming in. There's the Rolling Thunder. The Abaddon comes into the silence as well. Now the Swashbuckler mid one is dead. Beautifully done by Team Magma. Who would have thought that they could set it up? Not jumping out there. A big mistake from mid one. And because of it, he will fall. But the return will be there. DZY trying to stop them. Bloodseeker will get protected with a beautiful stop. And Roger is dead now with the rupture. Moon, guess what? You will die as well. He steals the remnants. Rubik wants to go in. But Moon, he's already out. Super far away. He has one more remnant and will be using it. To use his rolling thunder, that will be a big deal. Three points in searing chains. And he goes for the rolling thunder. He knows that something is up. Is he really setting something up here or... Uh... Is he just trying to push them back from the tower? Afu gets the uh, disruption and the RP doesn't connect that ground. It stood no chance. And without the RP, can they really fight? Oh, yes, they can. Dust still goes in and Afu is not going to survive. Now Moon from the side. They didn't expect him from there. He will get one kill. Dusky still stays and fights and no one can fight this Magnus. The Mammoth is too powerful. Slide of Fist. Moon will dodge that one. He does have the random back. They do get a tower. And KP needs to run away. But with the Rapture, he can't do it. And Dodge just does so much. The easy way goes to the side. Mid one is there. And he'll get the kill easily. Kaz in some trouble as well with the stomp though. Not going to be good enough with Roger removing it immediately. And Moon, he's not going to be sleeping this time around. Three heroes from Magma go down. SMG starting to ramp up the aggression. Mid one has the... Uh, has the Chrono if he wants to use it, but no, he just wants to punch Kaz in the face. He has a BKB, but he's still silenced up. The Stomp will connect. The Skewer, it's gonna be there if they want to do the damage, but without the RP, mid one will be okay. He's still jumping in. He wants to fight. He feels like he cannot lose right now, and that might as well be the case. That's coming over. He's actually gonna be doing a solid chunk of damage to mid one, but mid one is still gonna be stronger. The time dilation will be stolen, and the Chrono doesn't connect. He's just gonna use it on Kaz there. The Magnus just walks away and Kaz might get out as well mid one he understood how strong he is but he doesn't get a good chrono and KP runs in he wants to die no problem my friend we'll finish you off and he wants to give even more gold to his enemies but a tower luckily for him mid one he could have killed that Magnus he could have used the chrono on him but he decided that he wanted both it's gonna be punished for it getting pulled back do they have the RP yes they do and now they want him dead they're gonna move the Abaddon away mid one he gets spurred and he'll jump to the side thinking about staying in fighting. He's just hitting him for some life feeling. He gets to the low ground. Abaddon without his ulti. The skewer back. You want to save some people. Well now, who is gonna save you? But they do get a kill on the Rubik and this is looking very good for Team SMG. Moon comes over and two of them are pushing back four of the heroes. 
Kamikaze will not connect with a the stomp there at least. He won't on the faceless void. Now they want the Ember Spirit. Moon is falling low. He is silenced up and he will fall. Mid one is alone, but he does buy back. Does Moon really want to fight? He had the Remnant to do the slide of fish chase on two. Where are the bashes? They are there. Dust. Do you think you'll survive? You'll get your head smashed. And Moon with a beautiful buyback. A second one in this game. Okay, he sees the Rubik. KP is very hungry. He's definitely not letting this go. TP on the Rubik. It is ready. He's juking ground the trees. Nicely done there with the Thumb Destroy. Goes with the TP out. And SMG, you have been juked. Oh, they're searching for something. And uh, the search party won't be finding anything. Some days you're still, you're definitely not gonna be getting what you want. Mid one, he does have a BKB rolling thunder coming over TZY. He does want to get on top of him, but now the Chrono being used. TZY, I like a free kill. He's not gonna use the BKB, and that might cost him. No, it won't. Mid one is gonna get it. The Chrono has been stolen and used on the ground. Not really sure what the Rubik wanted to do. Now the Bloodseeker being caught. He does use the BKB, but mid one, I have one of my own. Still, the RP will not allow him to moon move. And Moon was the one that had the Aegis, so the Faces Void will die. Mid one, kind of forcing the issue there, but the Moon Ember Spirit is back. Dust without the BKB, he can't really fight. He gets annihilated. The damage from the Shadow Demon is just way too high. Soul Catcher, and now they're chasing for more Team SMG. They only have one Tier 2 Tower, but Towers are not what we're looking for. We're looking for Blood Moon going in. Can he go into the Fountain? What are they doing? The new trend of just keeping your enemies in the Fountain until they disconnect and get an Abandon. That doesn't work in official games, Moon. And now he might get silenced, and he will lose in Diegas. This is not looking down. That great for him, but he has the remnants to get himself out of it. But no more silences. Moon still staying in. He gets himself out. SMG trying to break the spirits of Team Magma. Just if they do get them back in the... Uh they do get to play against them in the Grand Finals as well. They want the Magma to be afraid, and to be honest, they definitely are after this kind of a performance. The Rupture will get used. Whoa, who was it used on? It's on the Lycan, so he can't move that much, but Bloodseeker comes in to fight. You don't want to be going into that wolf. He just eats you up. Now they're looking towards the Lycan, but KP without the Rupture there anymore, he's gonna be fine. And look at this, we can't even follow everything with the camera because Team SMG are playing so well. The the Abaddon, he does have his ulti ready and thus will heal him back up to full mid one. Going in there, he's gonna get yuled up. Again, not using that BKB and thus we want you. He does have the skewer. Get inside of my tier four. Sure, we will. And we're still gonna win the fight even there. You want us in your fountain. Sure, if that's the only place where you're gonna be a decent opponent. SMG continuing to destroy the Magma. Cast comes over. Sure, I want a bonus. You're gonna be that bonus for me and mid one. He's still not stopping the Telekinesis is throwing him back. They're hoping to live, but Magma, they're just keep, they just keep dying. Lycan, he might fall here, but imagine how helpless you feel when they're diving you over and over again. Magma, they're gonna get a triple kill on the Rubik, but mid one, now, only now, he'll use his Chrono and he'll destroy this Pango. His face has been smashed. He doesn't have that much mana, so he will finally fall and they'll get a kill on him. It's all gonna be the tower or the creeps getting it. Just imagine. Being in the woods, all alone, exactly where Team SMG are, uh, Team Magma are, and you hear the howl, but now the Abaddon being caught, he's gonna get silenced up, he, uh, the rabbit, the RP will get used, and mid one, he's just dead, RP solo on the face of Swoy, they'll get the kill, sure, they lost the Rubik, but who cares, nice slow there, on the Magnus, he's gonna get burst, and Kaz might be going down here, not gonna be happening, not just yet, no move comes over, he'll get a double kill, the supports are dead, Sending the Remnant back. He has disarmed, so he can't really do that much. But Dust is going for more. He's gonna get the silence, but won't really be able to get the grab. The Burrow time still have, wasn't used by Raji. And finally, it will get popped. So it's a two for one. But the face is void dying. It's a big deal. RP only for one hero. Dust, he knows who he needs to kill. If this face is void survives, it's a disaster. Who has been caught? It's gonna be TZY. He has the roll up, so not the easiest grab. He's just being pushed back, but not enough. TZY has the Yule Scepter, but can he get out of this one? The Blink Dagger not gonna be happening, and TZY is just dead. He will get destroyed. Moon thinking about more. There is no BKB on the Bloodseeker. Are we gonna be seeing the aggression again? No. SMG, they keep themselves out of it. SMG just trying to get into the brains of their opponents.
Or are successful doing so. Do look at this. It would be a perfect RP. If they can get it. No, that doesn't use it. He will use it on Mundo. That will be a big kill. He doesn't have the buyback. He spent his gold. Mid one. He's gonna get turned into a wolf. And he uses the chrono. Can he do the damage? He destroys the pango. The chrono has been stolen, but I'm not sure if that's gonna be good enough. And the blood seeker bash to death. Now the void. He's gonna start eating people. This is a real beast. The one that you should be afraid of. He dodges that easily. Have a billion movement speed. And the damage is no issue of mine either he gets a triple and rubik i want you as well i'm still hungry and i'll get you with ease so much damage from mid one the stomp does connect but immediately being removed mid one he knows that he's being guarded and he will not sleep for now tzy comes over rolling thunder for now not doing anything maybe they can kill the faces void no they can't with two defensive support he'll be fine pulling him back into the tower but mid one easily jumps back and he is full hp with a chrono on four what now pull me back get me in your base that's all in disruption and now an rp on three does it turns around the fights and where is your damage the rupture on mid one but he immediately takes it it all back he wants to fight in front of the enemy fountain he doesn't care he knows how powerful he is or he knows how weak magma are compared to him a buyback from the rubik he might have got one triple kill in this game but does that give you power over smg it doesn't seem likely mid one he still goes in and he's not done with you he's not done with bashing your heads and that's where's your rp oh you don't have it because you used it tried to kill me and were of course unsuccessful tzy he has the hand on this. Do you think that's gonna help you? Magma, they've had enough. They can't take it any longer. Their faces are hurting or they have no faces left at all because they have been smashed in by this mid one faceless void and the rest of Team SMG who have played most of this game inside of their enemy's base.